Hey everyone, welcome back to another Staticast gaming video. And I wanted to talk about this Chrome extension that I found out about today called OctoShop. Uh, you can use it for in-stock alerts and compare prices. It's offered by instock.org. It sounded like a great tool. Um, as you can see in this image here, it's something that, you know, you use as a Chrome extension. It's for the Chrome browser and it allows you to kind of see, you know, you actually get alerts, you know, when certain items that you, I guess, specify are in stock at various retailers that you um, specify. I haven't actually installed this yet, so I'm going to try and do it uh, while I'm recording this. Um, and the reason why I was going to do this is because, you know, everybody's been talking about when the restocks are going to happen this week or next week um, by Black Friday. I found this article on CNET, which I'm going to paste all the uh, URLs to all these articles in the video description. but. Uh, this one states that, you know, Best Buy is going to start, I believe, on Sunday the 22nd. It says, deals that, deals that start on Sunday, November 22nd. You can find these on pages 4 through 12 of the ad circular. And they posted the ad circular, I think, here. And everybody's talking about this, but... There's the image of the PS5 right there, and also an Xbox Series X and S as well. So, um, but everyone is already kind of anticipating that it's going to be stocked on these dates, but it doesn't exactly tell you the time. So, you know, this Octo Shop might still come in handy for that. Come, you know, at this point, I think you really don't. Nobody has anything to lose. Anything you could probably use would be beneficial at this point. Um, but, you know, this says the 22nd on Sunday. It doesn't really say a time. Um, then it looks like there's a deal on November 26th. And a weekend sale that kicks off on Saturday, November 28th. Um, if that's only for products on sale, then from what I'm hearing, I don't think anybody's going to offer any discount on these new consoles. So... It's hard to say exactly if the consoles are going to be available on multiple dates, but I think the best chance would be probably on the 22nd for Best Buy. Um, this is another article on Forbes that discusses Walmart's Black Friday ad uh, that was leaked, and it says things kick off at 7 p.m. Eastern Time online on November 25th, which is a Wednesday. Um, and we all know what happened uh, when Walmart went live not that long ago. It was a disaster. So, um, I'm honestly, I'm in the back of my mind. I'm thinking the same thing's going to happen. So I'm, I'm trying to stay optimistic, but I got a bad taste in my mouth with Walmart right now. It just seems like they're going to get bombarded, um, you know, with bots and stuff. So I, I just. I don't know how successful we're going to be, but maybe that, uh, again, you know, maybe that OctoShop app might come in handy. Uh, who knows? Um, but I think after that, it says that the in-store deals kick off on November 27th at 5 a.m. local time. And then the second round of online deals begin on November 27th at 12 a.m. Eastern time. So right after midnight on the 27th. So you know, the 25th at 7 p.m. and the 27th right after midnight, uh, you know, the 26th and then midnight hits, that's the 27th at midnight. So that's probably the best time to try and go on walmart.com and see if you can still get a PS5 there. Um, Kohl's, looks like their Black Friday schedule start, is going to be between, actually it starts... Uh, online at 10.01 p.m. Pacific Time and 1.01 a.m. Eastern Time, November 22nd. So um, it's 10.01 p.m. Pacific Time, November 21st, and then in East Coast Time, that's 1.01 a.m., November 22nd. So for people that are usually up late like me around that time, I guess... You could definitely try that there. Try and order from them online as well. Um, but again, back to this Octo Shop. I'm curious to see what this is actually going to be like. So I wanted to try and add it to Chrome here. 
and see what this is like for myself. Okay, so you got to sign in. Okay, so what can OctoShop do for you? Start shopping. Check out how OctoShop works by checking out these items. Oh, okay. So if you go somewhere and they, it finds a cheaper price, it'll actually let you know that they found it and you can actually click it and it opens this up. And Walmart has a better price. Okay, so actually, I didn't even really need to, well, I didn't really need to um, put any retail information. It's just handling it by itself. So that's pretty cool because I never used this before. So let's do this then. Let's go to Walmart PS5. It's currently out of stock still on Walmart for the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. Octoshop is saying it's got four other ones. Everybody's out of stock. <laughs> so, but the good thing about it is, you know, oh, and it's got eBay on there. <laughs> no way I'm going in there to see these scalpers prices. But, um, so, you know, I guess what this is good for is you can kind of maybe just keep an eye on stuff in one browser window. You know, without having to keep going back and forth necessarily. Um, and it should actually alert since I chose that I'm looking for in stock. It would, uh, let me see, it looks like there's a notification bell here. Okay, we'll notify you of, uh, for any inventory or price changes. So, because when I first set it up, you know, I said that I was going to use it for uh, in stock to see if things are in stock, then it should let me know that. So what you do is, I guess, just put up a browser window, you know, maybe go to one one website, try to search for it, and it'll pull up these other ones. And it should give you an alert when something's actually changed and you can keep it up. The question is, is... um. You know, this is the first time I'm using it, so I wonder just how, how quickly this can update versus you going in on a browser yourself and, and just refreshing it, you know, multiple browsers. But I guess it, it wouldn't hurt to, to 
try and use this and see, you know, it seems like the perfect tool to actually keep track of whether something is in stock or not. So it looks cool. It's nice and neat. And, you know, it may actually come in handy this month trying to keep track of PS5s getting restocked in these real retailers. So and you don't even have to go in and specify any specific stores. It looks like they're already built in. You know, you could see Target's already in here, GameStop, Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, and the cursed eBay with the evil, evil scalpers that are selling PS5s and Xbox Ones for $30,000. But anyway, um, yeah, all the stores are right here in one extension. And you can find out if they're in stock or not. I thought that was cool. And I want to share with other people that maybe, you know, don't really use this or they never heard of it before. Hopefully it comes in handy. And just remember, um, you know, the date for Best Buy starts on Sunday, November 22nd for their Black Friday deals. And then it goes on to the 26th and then Saturday the 28th. For Walmart, they're going to start on Wednesday, November 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then November 27th at 12 a.m. Uh, midnight Eastern Standard Time. Kohl's is going to go f start their online deal at 10.01 p.m. Pacific Time, November 21st. Slash 1.01 a.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, November 22nd. And then in stores, November 22nd through the 27th, stores open at 8 a.m. local time, close on Thanksgiving Day. And use the OctoShop tool to try and keep track of all these stores. I'm going to put all this information in the description as far as the links to these websites. And, you know, I'll notate the time frame as far as when this stuff's going to start but you want to you know write this down or text it to yourself email it to yourself you know put it in your calendar just so you can remember these times i know it's not going to be easy for everybody because people might have school or they might have work um but you know if you can make time to you know get this extension and you know make sure you have all your browser windows up just in case you know see what you can do but I thought this extension was cool because it's going to give you notifications and you can actually go in and if something pops up you know you can actually go in right from here and click the um, where was I at here you can go when you're at the website if you're at one website and search for the product the PS5 Doctor Shop will come up, and if something changes, you'll be right here. You'll have it right here on your screen, and you'll be able to just immediately click on this View Item button, and it'll take you right there without you having to have a bunch of browser windows open and, and you know, things like that. So, um, you know, you can keep your browser windows open if you want, if you're comfortable with that, especially if you have more than one monitor. But I thought this tool would be cool to use because it seems like it's consolidating everything into just one small area on your screen and it'll actually give you an alert. Alright, thanks for tuning in. I hope this information was helpful and stay tuned for more videos. You have a good one.